Basilica of Santa Croce in Jerusalem it was built beginning in the 4th century at the Caesarium Palace, the residence of Street Helena, the mother of Emperor Constantine, near the Lateran. The Basilica of Santa Croce in Jerusalem it was built on the ruins of an imperial villa called Portibariani ad Spem Viterem, begun by Septimius Severus and finished by Heliogobulus in the 3rd century. This villa included the Castrensian Amphitheatre, the Circus Varianus, and the Hellenian Baths. The basilica was built exclusively to preserve part of the Cross of Jesus, along with other relics of the Passion that, according to tradition, Street Helena had transported to Rome on her return from her journey to the Holy Land in 325. It was thus conceived from the beginning as a great reliquary, intended to hold precious testimonies of Jesus' Passion. The basilica is called in Jerusalem because of the presence of consecrated earth from Mount Calvary that was placed at the base of the foundation, earth that was transported on ships along with the relics of the cross themselves. This is why the church was called, since the Middle Ages, simply High Jerusalem, and, for popular devotion, visiting this basilica meant setting foot in the holy city of Jerusalem itself. In the Middle Ages, on Good Friday the popes would walk barefoot, as a sign of penance, down the road that connects the Cathedral of Street John Lateran to the Basilica of the Holy Cross to come and worship the relic of the Cross of Jesus. Entrance to the Basilica is through an elliptical atrium with a small dome supported by granite pillars and columns that, in the early Christian Basilica, were placed inside. Through 15th century doors, partially damaged in the 18th century, one passes into the interior, which is divided into three naves by eight ancient granite columns and six pillars, four of which incorporate as many original columns. In the basement is the very valuable chapel of Street Helen. Street Helena's chapel guarded the relics of the crucifixion for more than 16 centuries, it was not until 1930 that they were transferred to the new chapel of relics, carved out of the old sacristy for permanent display for the veneration of pilgrims. Until then, in fact, the relics were only solemnly displayed three times a year, on Good Friday, the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross, September 14, and the Feast of the Invention of the Cross. The Basilica holds numerous relics including some traditionally linked to the Passion of Jesus. These are three fragments of the True Cross, part of the Crown of Thorns, a sacred nail and the Titulus Crucis, to the relics of the Passion of Christ, other relics of lesser importance have been added over the centuries, some of uncertain provenance such as the fragments of the Bethlehem Grotto and Holy Sepulchre and the Pillar of Flagellation, the Patibulum of the Good Thief, and the Phalanx of the Finger of Street Thomas. These are all relics related to the events of Jesus' Passion and Resurrection, and were collected primarily for catechetical and homiletic purposes. The Titulus Crucis is a relic consisting of a plank of walnut wood, which according to tradition would be the original scroll affixed above the cross. The wood, found in a niche in 1492 during conservation work conducted in the church, bears part of an inscription, presumably, but without any certainty, the result of dismemberment, in characters compatible with those of the first century, from right to left, in three different languages, Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. Some scholars have assumed that the cartouche is indeed the original one, in particular it has been argued that it would have been detached from the cross and initially laid in the tomb along with Jesus' body.